Hi there, traders. This is Brad Gilbert with FX Market Insight for Thursday, the 28th of November. All right, happy Thanksgiving to all our North American uh, clients. The, uh, what we're seeing is a bit of a discombobulation. There's a bit of weird activity across the board. Obviously, holiday markets, liquidity a little bit thinner. Uh, Euro sort of broken down a touch, but is failing to go on with it. Same with the Aussie. Uh, a little bit of wild pricing there around the Kiwi. The business activity numbers were stronger. Once again, supporting a move to the top side. We did see a little glitch to the downside. Sterling back up above 129 on uh, sort of positive polls for the Conservatives. And you can still see, despite Dollar going up, it is running out of steam at the moment. But what we're seeing here, we're not really seeing too much at all. And you can really tell the uh, holiday markets are in play when you come to the news wise and it's all about you know asia hong kong you know a bit of argy bargy about between us and uh and uh china i should say over hong kong and obviously Jap japanese retail sales figures sharpest fall since 2015 but no surprises there that economy economy hasn't been working for roughly 30 years all right just coming to the myfx trading hub there's been a few slight changes uh, in some of these levels, but overall, there hasn't been too much of a change. Euro just popping, pipping lower as it has the Aussie, but those uh, moves, just be, just be wary. They are very uh, weak breaks, okay? They're not like they're breaking multiple levels or anything like that. So just keep an eye on that uh, as you go through today. Liquidity will be a little bit scarce, okay? So... If something big geopolitically comes out, we could see a big move, but it's going to be left field. And you're probably focusing on these geopolitical events from where that action will come from. All right. So the uh, just coming back up here to have a look at the, um, the overall uh, 28th. Well, you know what? There's not much on all day. We got, if anything, if you're really clutching at straws, uh, Swiss GDP numbers, very rare that they would impact, but you know what? It's a big number, but... You know, the Swiss economy is so tiny and uh, rarely sees a bump. So really, to me, the markets are on hold until Friday. And that's when we have a bunch of uh, Eurozone numbers, which can hopefully give that Euro a bit of a kick to the downside. I, like, I still like it lower, but you know what? These holiday markets, you've got to be careful. Uh, they don't have a lot of substance to them. Okay, there's no real follow through. All right, guys, that's it from me. No real big news at this stage. Don't forget, you, what we're looking for is, I'm looking for these green bars, right? Strong strength, whether that's a trend line or a trend move. But uh, we're not seeing that at this point. So let's get this holiday out. Enjoy the time off if you can. And uh, we'll uh, see you tomorrow. All righty, have a good trade day. Cheerio.